All right, this is New Perspectives Excel 2019, Module 9, SAM Project 1A. For some colleges, this might be the fourth and the final project, uh, but the title should be Mount Moreland Hospital. And before you begin, just make sure that cell B6 on the Excel sheet has your name on it. And also don't forget to complete these instructions before you begin the project. So really just have to change the file name so that it ends in a two instead of a one. And afterwards, you can get started with the project. This will be a speed run of the project, so I won't be reading much of the context behind each step, but I will leave timestamps for each step throughout the video in case you want to skip around. Yeah, so let's start with step one. For step one, we have to go to the loan payments worksheet, which is down here. So let's click on loan payments worksheet and in cell H17, which is right here. Uh, go to formulas up here and then go to error checking. Click on that and then click on edit and formula bar. So this formula is incorrect because there's an at symbol. So delete the at symbol and also change the O to a U so that it says sum and then press enter. And then after you hit enter, press resume. And that is step one a moving on to step two. So we're not going to use the trace precedent arrows uh, because it's pretty useless and unnecessary. So we're just going to hop straight into two B and two C. So for two B go back to this error checking message box and hit edit in formula bar right now it's referring to D four. So make it refer to cell D5 by dragging the red box down one so that it references D5 and then hit enter. And then on this error checking box, just hit resume. And then now you can X out the error checking message box. And so for step 2C, we can take, uh, so click on cell C20 and then select C20 to G20 and just hit control R or command R if you're on Mac, and that'll um, give the formula for all the cells. And that is basically step two. For step three, uh, we have to go to cell C17 and use the formula. So type in the formula. Just do cumulative payment, cumulative interest payment, and then open parentheses. The rate is 0 0.36 or cell d7 comma the n per is 60 or cell d9 the pv is 234,000 or or um cell d5 and now when after you click these three um you can you can select them so select these three cells and on on uh your windows if you're on windows hit f4 if you're on mac hit fn and then f4 in order to lock the cells so you can also do this manually by typing the dollar sign before the letter or before the number so after you do that um hit comma so make sure all the d d cells are uh, locked in place so putting the dollar sign locks them in place and then the start period is one or so c15 and then comma the end period is 12 or cell C16. And then the type is zero. So comma and then type in a zero and then close parentheses and then hit enter. And there you have it, your interest. And what you want to do is select from C17 to G17 and hit control R or command R. And that's basically uh, step three. For step four, we want to use function so we're using the same numbers so what you want to do is just copy this here copy this portion um from cell c17 so in cell c17 just select everything that's um within the parentheses copy it and then go to cell c18 type in the function equals to c u m p r i n c the cumulative principle function and then just control V and there you have it um delete any extra like parentheses and then once you've pasted uh, this hit enter and then 
select from C18 all the way to G18 and hit Control R or Command R. And that is step four. For step five, <clears throat> you have to go to the depreciation worksheet down here. And here um, we have to look at cell D12. We can use trace arrows to determine where this is occurring, but we don't really need to use the trace dependence or, pre or precedence. So let's just correct the error in cell D12. Right now it's referring to annual depreciation. What you want to do is move the red box uh, to two boxes or two cells to the right. So that's referring to year two of the annual de depreciation. So after you move um, the red box or from D or from B11 to D11, hit enter. So before it was here, just move it here and then hit enter. And that is basically step five. Step six, um, we have to use the SLN function. So in cell C11, type in the function equals to SLN or straight line depreciation. The cost is 234,000. Salvage life is, or salvage is 37,440 or cell D6. And then the life is seven or cell D7. And then close the parentheses, hit enter. And then from here, you can just um, also make sure to just lock these in place. So select D5, D6, and D7, and then hit F4 or Command F4, or manually type in the dollar signs that you see here, and then hit Enter, and then select from cell C11 to I11, and then hit Control R or Command R, and there you go. That's step six. For step seven, in cell C18 down here, we have to use the DB function. So select the cell and then type in the function or the formula DB uh, or the pre depreciation of an asset. So DB and then the cost is up here, 234,000. Cell D5, salvage is 37,440. Cell D6, the life is seven. and uh, or cell D T7, right? And then the period is year one. So cell C18 or C17. Uh, and then you don't need to worry about the month. Just close the parentheses after that and then hit enter. And you also want to go back to the cell and highlight. Um, you want to highlight. So you want to highlight the D cell, cell D references. So D5, D6, and D7. Do the same thing by hitting F4 or Command F4 or manually typing the dollar signs. After you do that, hit Enter. Select uh, from cell C18 to I18 and hit Control R or Command R. And that is basically step seven. For step eight, in cell E22 here, type in the SYD formula. So equal to SYD, open parentheses, the cost is up here. Once again, salvage here. So D5 and then D6, comma, the life is seven or cell D7. And then for the period, we're using uh, year one. So cell C17 here is the period. So C17 and then close the parentheses and then hit enter. Boom. And then after that, uh, we're going to copy this formula. So just copy this formula, paste it down here. Right now it's referring to all of these, um, all of these other kind of, it's not, it's not referring to the right cells, right? So, so actually let's delete this and just lock these cells in place once again. So D5, D6, and D7 hit select them and then hit F4 or command F4 or manually type in the dollar signs and then hit enter. Copy this, paste it, and then so paste paste this into the cell right below. Uh, and then for cell uh, C18, you want to change this green box and move it to year 7 or cell I17 and then hit enter. And that is basically step 8. For step 9, go to the earnings projections worksheet.
so here and we want to project um, the municipal grants growth so in order to do that let's go select from c5 to g5 go to home up here and you want to click on this little icon called fill and then click on the drop down click series and here you want to select linear and then click on the trend box click on that and then press ok and that is step nine for step 10 you want to select the insurance reimbursements or cell c7 to cell g7 click on this fill icon or symbol here go to series then for type you want to click on growth and then you want to click on trend and then hit ok and that is step 10 for step 11 we need to project the expenses so in order to do that uh, select uh, the payroll so cell c13 to cell g13 click on the fill icon again click on series again and here you want to click on growth and you want to use the step value 1.05 so change the step value to 1.05 and then click on ok and that is step 11. so for step 12 we have to add a linear trend line to the projected revenue the projected revenue chart is right here in order to add the trend line go to data or go to chart design uh, and then hit add chart element go to a trend line and then click on linear and that's step 12a for step 12b you need to format the trend line so that it forecasts is one period forward so click on this plus sign next to the chart um, it should give you these and then under trend line click on the arrow and then more options click on more options and then the forecast is down here so forward you want to type in one and then hit enter and then you can close this out and that is step 12 for step 13 we're going to go to the revenue trend uh, chart down here once again add a trend line so up here click add chart element click on trend line and then you want to click on more trend options and you want to click on the logarithmic logarithmic um, trend line so click on this and then that's basically step 13 you can access out for step 14 go to the investments worksheet down here and then for for 14a uh in cell c15 enter a formula that uses uh the mpv function so equals to mpv open the parentheses the rate is the desired rate of return or cell c14 and then you want to select from the range c7 to c12 so here to here and then close the parentheses hit enter and that is step 14 step 15 you want to go to cell c17 down here you use the irr function so equals to irr open the parentheses and the values are uh, from c6 to c12 so c6 to c12 is here and then you don't have to worry about guess just close the parentheses after you have selected this range and then hit enter and that is step 15 so now you are done with the project and if you want to double check your work feel free to do that um but if you have more than like two chances or three chances to submit your work just go ahead and submit your work because i'm pretty positive and sure that you'll get 100